going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Savage Studios. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment if you feel like it. So basically, I want to do my top five prison books that us prisoners were reading because, you know, we're not just dumb criminals who sit on our butt all day. We actually do a lot of reading, especially if you're getting slammed and you spend a lot of time in the street, you're doing a lot of reading. But uh, before I address that, I want to go ahead and address my haters, you know, one last time, you know. Um, I want to go ahead and say that I'm not going to um, address, explain, or or do anything like that for anybody. Nobody, nobody to me is worth that. What I want to say is whatever you assume about me, I want you to assume it and I want you to believe it wholeheartedly that that's what it is. You don't need to get on social media. You don't need to go nowhere. You don't need to go to other YouTubers and, and, and send pictures or tell them to do this for you or tell them to do this for you. I'm telling you flat out, I'm what you say I am. You want to call me a dropout, you want to call me a snitch, a 2-5, whatever you say, call me that. You call me that in person, I'm going to fuck you up. It is what it is. This announcement is just to let you know. Don't get it fucked up. I don't care. You're not exposing me. There's nothing to be exposed. Anything you think you know, anything you think, or any worse assumption you have... Draw that fucking conclusion and call that what it is, okay? It's well known. I'm inactive. I am not active. I am not banging. I'm not pushing that line, homie. I'm on camera shooting YouTube videos like these other YouTubers are, okay? That's what I'm doing. Anyways, let's get to these uh, top five real quick. Let's get to these books. Number one, 48 Laws of Power. Author, Robert Greene. This man, this man is part human, part robot, part alien. This man has got shit figured out. Because if anyone has read 48 Laws of Power, which a lot of prisoners have, that's, a, that's just a prisoner book for some reason. We seem to be the only ones that can grasp the fact that uh, that book is gold. He's written books like Art of Seduction. He's written Mastery. Um, I want to say 32 Strategies of War. Anyways, 48 Laws of Power. That's taking about 3,000 years of history, taking all the wisdom out of those years and all those war, war leaders and, and, and emperors and whoever he took it from. 3,000 years, over 3,000 years of history. Use that book. Very treacherous book and can be used for a lot of evil, but can also be used for a lot of good. If you apply this book to the good, to the good nature, to the good direction and the good path, you can find yourself a very successful person. Um, you can always take laws out of the book. Take certain laws that you want to take out here, apply shit here, and not use the not use the dirty shit. Because there's a few laws in that book that are kind of scandalous by nature. Uh, my next book's gonna be Art of um, Art of uh, Art of War. Not Art of, Sed Art of Seduction's on the list, guys, but it's not number two. Number two is Art of War by Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu is just a very strategic book, actually more so purely uh militant book for the for the military because because uh Sun Tzu himself was a was a war leader I want to say he was some kind of general this man uh I don't know the exact numbers but I know that he defeated an army that quadrupled his army and the way he did it you know he kind of gives you his strategy so this book is more so literal in how it expresses going to war with your enemy right but in prison, it was something that we read upon because it was like, if I'm walking up to you guys and it's two of us, me and my boy, and it's seven of you guys, and we got to fuck you guys up. Like, we got we want to lay you guys down. We don't want to be your victim. This book gives you strategies. It could be anything from fighting with your back against the sun, the, <clears throat> excuse me, fighting with your back against the sun to throwing dirt in your enemy's face, all kinds of stuff. I suggest this book. Sun Tzu's a bad man. He's a bad man. Number three. Art of Seduction. Art of Seduction, uh, I won't get too much into detail, but then again, maybe I will. <laughs> I applied this book to my own, uh, to my own frame of mind. Art of Seduction is a book on seducing women, right? It compartmentalizes women and breaks down every type of woman there is and allows you to kind of approach, strategically approach these women, but approach them approach them in a way that's uh, according to how they are and where they're labeled, right? Um, I chose to kind of, you know, grasp the, grasp the concept a little further outside of just it being women, right? I chose to kind of see it like, why can't I seduce, why can't I seduce my way? Why can't I seduce my ideas? Like, why can't I seduce others to see my ideas and respect my views and want to take part in what I'm doing? 
And so that's what I was using seduction for, because that's when I learned you can actually seduce anybody and anything. And, and anyone who thinks that seducing someone is gay, or hey, you know, you can only seduce a woman, or whatever the fuck they're telling you. Go look up the definition to seduce, or seduction, or whatever, however it's spelled. Look them all up. There's no, it's gender neutral, is what I'm trying to say. That book, though, is it's a savage-ass book, written, again, by Robert Greene. Um, number four is going to be Mastery. See, mastery kind of gives you the skill set to apply 48 Laws of Power. Because a lot of jokers in the pen want to read 48 Laws of Power, but don't have the self-discipline, willpower, or state of mind to even apply any of those laws or remember them. One of those laws that I used to love the most was never outshine the master, right? Never outshine the master. Even when you outshine the master, you don't outshine the master. I used to go to day room. And literally play with homies' heads. And they knew no better. Stroking, stroking motherfucker's ego. Make him feel like his head is just like blown up. Like he's just that motherfucker, right? Really the whole time knowing that you're working your way right through this dude. You're, you're, you're utilizing him. You're manipulating the whole situation. And he's, he's doing your bidding. Or he's getting, you're, he's tabling an issue for you. You know, he's getting an issue that you had taken care of. Because he feels it's his issue now. How you do that? Never outshine the master. Anyways, I'm not going to get too much into that. Um, another good read was The Black Hand by a uh, young snitch-ass uh, boxer. Renee something, you know. Um, Hermano Negra. You know, it's a good read because if you guys are ever interested, you know, which most of you guys are, that's why you're watching this shit. If you're ever interested in... Uh, um, politics and how treacherous uh the game can be in inside the pen um just go ahead and graze through that book and you'll you'll get a you'll get a um a cool picture for what life was like back in those days when uh when the mn everyone was coming out um i've had og sellies you know with c numbers you know real uh real crazy stories man real treacherous times you know so i always like i always enjoy reading up on history right ain't nothing wrong with history right it's all it is just a history lesson you know don't take that shit for nothing else but a history lesson um and finally my my viewers my subscribers and everybody out there watching you know i want to recommend one book that's very dear to my heart that i feel like can bring wisdom peace and enlightenment and it's the bible i know a lot of you guys don't want to hear it but this is a book that even atheists and any kind of religion can read upon and, and, and grow from. You can always take something away. You can always take something away and grow from it, right? Like, go to Proverbs. Even if you just want to read Proverbs. These are basically just wise sayings. If you want to read some parables, go to parables. You want to read some Psalms. If you can't grow and progress and learn from the Bible, then it's not religion that's the problem. It's you. You got the problem. You're not paying attention. You're not trying to grow as a human being. Because this shit teaches common sense. And that's something that a lot of people nowadays lack is common sense. A lot of people, um, um, they tend to just jump right into saying something disrespectful without being aware of who they talk to or how they talk to. They tend to expect shit a certain way but not give it a certain way. You see what I'm saying? The Bible is the good book. And that's the book I recommend. That's my top five, fellas. And ladies and anyone else who's watching out there. And, and I really hope that you guys, you know, enjoy these top five. It's, these are the most top five common books that I've seen people read. Now, some side recommendations. I want to recommend you read all the Game of Thrones. Every single last one of them, you know, because they're better than the show and they're better than the movie. Um, I also want to recommend you read Econ Goulden, right? He's an author. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. If not... It is what it is. Um, he wrote a series on Genghis Khan. I think three books on Genghis Khan and three books on Julius Caesar. And his writing is iconic, man. He takes actual historical facts and writes novels uh, based on what he kind of like. It's like the best guesstimating type of book you can read because it has so many facts involved in it. Um, once again, yeah, check that out, man. Check them books out. Very fun reads, you know. Keep that mind growing. Always read books. Don't ever stop reading because I tattoo and I draw to escape. But when I read, I'm escaping as well. And how I escape when I read, it's totally different. It's like I'm entering a different portal than the one I'm entering when I'm tattooing. So always stretch that mind. Always stretch that mind. Always grow, man. Like, don't ever give up on growing. Don't ever give up on learning and studying, you know. I'm sorry, you know, that I came a little... A little hot at the beginning, but it's just like, 
I usually don't pay attention to haters, you know, I usually don't pay attention to people coming after me, but it's like there's a few individuals, you know, that, that won't relinquish their identity to me, you know. Nevertheless, guys, it's all good. Haters are going to hate, you know what I mean? We're going to make the moves regardless. Can't stop me. You know, there's a lot to be jealous about. There's a lot to hate on. You know, got out the pen, been out for one year, I got a king on the way, I got my son on the way, got the most beautiful wife, I got a promising future, I tattoo, I got other hobbies, other talents other than jumping on this YouTube, people like me, I like people, let's make it, let's blow up, God bless all of you, all my real ones out there, I salute you, all my YouTuber homies out there, I salute you, active, non-active, dropout, still pushing, I salute all of you. Anybody hating on me? Keep on hating, baby. Let's see how it affects me. Those.